Dear friends, dear colleagues, welcome back to the Mangano Digital Academy and welcome back to the essential of digital dentistry. In this video number seven of the make uh, section, we'll talk about a new very powerful device that we can have in our own dental clinic in order to work very well with the 3D printing technology, the DFA by the DWS system, an innovative device particularly designed and conceived for the dental cleaning, for the chair set for in-house application. But before to go there, let's summarize a little bit the digital dentistry, how it works. It is based obviously on four steps, the data acquisition, which goes from real to virtual thanks to CBCT, for example, for the surgery, for intra from intraoral scanner desktop of this kind of digital condylography for digital prostodontists. We capture, we get all the information from our patient and we goes from real to virtual. We send all this information to the dental technician. The dental technician using software elaborate a project, can be a project for the prosthesis, can be a project for the surgery, for the ortho, it's not important. The point is that this project can be then <coughs> transfer it into computer assisted manufacturing software and devices like mini units, 3D printer, SLS, SLM machine in order to produce something, in order to go from virtual to real, go back to real. And then we can apply, we can use these products, we can use these devices, we can use this I mean, um, prototypes sometimes. So this is digital dentistry and uh, the question today, the question of the lecture today is uh, is it possible to print uh, hybrid ceramic crowns with a DFAB? Yes, it is. And I will show you a digital workflow that uh, is finalized with hybrid ceramic crowns, exactly printed with DFAB, this new innovative device by DWS system. So we had this patient. This patient had two implants in the um, posterior maxilla on the left side, one second premolar and one first molar. The implants have been already placed to BT safe in from, from BTK Biotech Povolara di Dueville, Italy. We uh, captured the intraoral scan of the position of these implants. Usually we proceed so with our CS3700. First we remove the healing abutment and we capture uh, the uh, mucosal collar and the master model. Uh, then we capture the antagonist arch and the bite and after this we can screw in our scan bodies, in this case from the BTK company. The scan bodies are captured in full in order then to capture and to transfer the position of the implants to the dental technician. The dental technician receives this scan, the master model with and without uh, uh, the master model without the mucosal uh, collar and with and uh, without the, the scan bodies and then is capable to uh, in the same position obviously and then the dental technician is capable to model the restoration in this case two implant supported crowns supported by individual hybrid abutment that are also designed inside a computer assisted design software these individual hybrid abutment are usually conceived uh, for um, uh, then being milled in a zirconia and then being assembled cemented extra orally on a titanium base uh, this is how we proceed usually with the monolithic restoration and the monolithic restoration are usually in zirconia or in lithium desilicate in the arterial area. In this case I will show you the application of the same workflow with a new product, this DFAB from DWS system, a very powerful compact desktop machine, incredible fast, capable to print hybrid ceramic in a very short time frame with very good results. So we can use this modeling of the individual hybrid abutment, we can use the modeling of the crowns in order to, um, I mean, finalize the wall case, uh, as you can see the, the, in, in red the individual abutment and in gray the, the crowns, uh, to finalize the wall case using the DFAB in a full in-office workflow, very fast and very predictable. How does it work? We have two options. We have the DFAB desktop without a computer, very um, I mean, compact and very beautiful also to see, and also the one um, uh, with, the, uh, with the computer inside, the, the DFAB version. Um, it's important to underline the, a very important possibility here. We, we simply transfer our STL file using, for example, a, a USB key and we import, uh, the, the dental assistant can, us can usually do it very fast and very predictably, the, the files inside the, the software, the, the, the NAUT for DFAB Photoshade. Then we need to decide the color. We have three options of color, three layers of color. 
uh, the, the occlusal portion, the mid portion, and the portion that is closest to gingiva. And in this case, we choose an A35 to A2 uh, restoration for the, the restoration in this case. And also we printed uh, in Iris Plus, a monochromatic material, uh, in A3.5, the individual hybrid abutment. So, we printed in two different sessions. In the first session, we used an Iris Max Photoshade A2, A35 for the crowns. And then in a second separate session, we printed with Iris Plus A3.5, the individual abutment. The technology is super powerful and we can obtain the, 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 the crowns in a very short time frame, 22 minutes overall for four crowns. We can also print up to five crowns in this machine. 11 minutes only for the individual hybrid abutment. Then we can, of course, remove the, uh, the, 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 the plate and we can place the plate inside this device that is used for cleaning the restoration for the removal of the excess of resin. We can uh, work for three, four, five minutes here in, 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 in alcohol in order to remove the excess of resin. Then when everything is uh, perfectly clean, we can go with the final characterization and polymerization in this dedicated decur device, decur device that is for the polymerization. And uh, basically it is what we did. We, play, we removed the, the, the restoration from their supports and we placed it into the decur. Here are the um, uh, restorations before to be removed by the support, but the easy removal is granted by the technology implemented by the DFAB and the DWS for the removal of the, the crown. Uh, obviously we can characterize, we can glaze, we can mm, polish more or less. The point is that the ability of the dental technician is still key, but we have any way for the photo shade technology, three level of colors that is very important to replicate what happened in the mouth of the patient. And after the characterization and after the crowns have been glazed, these hybrid crowns that are hybrid raised ceramic, they look perfect and they are ready for the, for the, uh, for being a, uh, uh, applied uh, clinically because uh, the, the whole uh, stuff is ready, the crowns are ready and also the individual uh, abutment, hybrid abutments are ready so we can cement extra orally the individual hybrid abutment over our titanium basis and then we can place a screw this individual hybrid abutment and then we can obviously finalize the case by the delivery of the Iris Max photo shade crowns that are considered uh, Final restoration, so basically they can be considered as final restoration because of their property, because of their color, because of their um, translucency. They, they are nice and they are hybrid ceramics and they can stay like uh, final definitive restoration or can be used like in this case as uh, long term provisional before to transform them into something else, for example, uh, monolithic zirconia uh, restoration, monolithic zirconia crowns. But as we can see, the difference in terms of color exists, but it's not so huge. I mean, the material are totally different and it is not fair to compare hybrid ceramics with full ceramic, full zirconia monolithic crowns. But anyway, the two options are available for the final definitive restoration of these implants. But the first option with the DFAB is definitely easier and faster and can do it full in office in a very short time frame at least when compared with the zirconia restoration that require at least two days of post-processing they need to be centered in an oven and everything is quite more tricky and, and difficult obviously so we have now this new option with the defab a revolutionary machine for in-office restoration a fantastic printer and we can use it every day in our clinic to make our final restoration so uh, thank you very much for your kind attention